Okay, in this video, we're going to go over lower extremity rims testing. This is a ma maximum isometric. We're using it to look at um, the action of uh, the lower extremity, not necessarily one muscle group. That you would reserve for your uh, manual muscle test where you're trying to isolate a more specific muscle. So if you think about hip flexion, we're gonna start with that. It's a group of muscles that work to do hip flexion. If you think about knee extension, same thing, it's a group of muscles. So we're thinking more about the action right now and the ability for the patient to go through that. If we find something, that's where then we would think, oh, I might wanna go tease that out a little bit more and now whittle down into an MMT. So we are gonna instruct your patient. You wanna see what they can do for their range so with Dr. Bot, I'm gonna have him raise his knee up, good. Then I'm gonna bring him out of the maximum position into more of a mid position. And I might tell him, hold there, don't let me move you. But I'm trying to break him to see where he's at as far as his strength goes. I'm gonna compare side to side. So I'm gonna look at his ability to go through full range of motion, come off of that a little bit, hold there, don't let me move you. And I'm trying to get the break. What I don't wanna see is that I'm ramping my body up and then I'm gonna push down as much as I can. I want to see that he can go through it, back him off, add resistance, but as soon as he gives me a little bit of that break, I'm done with the exam and I can move on to my next thing. We're gonna go through full knee extension. So he's gonna go through full knee extension. That tells me that all the quadricep group is working to help him. We're gonna back him off. We're gonna give him max resistance to break him. You saw on Dr. Bot, I can't break him. You saw his body lift up strong. I don't need to, I don't need to go any further on that. Okay, then I'm gonna to go to the other side. He's gonna go through full extension. I'm gonna bend, good. Hold here, don't let me move you. Same idea, I can't break him strong throughout. Now I'm gonna go through and I'm testing more of that knee, knee uh, flexion. So I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna hold, I'm not gonna have my patient go through full range of motion, but I do wanna see how much they can initiate on their own. Then I'm gonna bring them back to neutral, say hold here. You notice my hand is on the back towards the distal end of where our calf comes into play and I'm stabilizing up top. I'm gonna say hold here, don't let me move you and I'm trying to pull out. I'm giving my max to get him to break. I can't do it. He's strong in that arena. Okay, same idea. I'm going to say hold here. Don't let me move you. Hold strong. Hold strong. And again, max resistance to see where he's at. Quick screen. We're going to go through dorsiflexion. So he's going to pull his toes up. Good. I'm, I'm going to start on this side. You guys are always on. So I'm going to say hold here. Don't let me push you down. Hold strong. Hold strong. Hold strong. Good, same with this side, hold strong, hold strong, hold strong. And even though I can break him, I would still rate him as strong throughout. Then I'm gonna have him plantar flex, so push down, hold up. You guys, it's very rare on someone who's of normal um, functioning, they can walk, they can go through the gait cycle for you to be able to break that. There are people though that once we get into more of a deconditioned person, someone that's been in the hospital for a long period of time, that this will become more apparent for you. Same plantar flexion, hold here, don't let me move you. You guys notice I'm always stabilizing proximal so that the patient knows where to put their resistance into. You're gonna watch inversion, okay? So toes in, toes in, good. Then you're gonna have them resist that. So hold here, don't let me move you, good. Same on this side, I'm gonna just move over pretty quick. Hold here, don't let me move you. Good, then I'm gonna have him go through ankle eversion. Good, hold here, don't let me move you. Good, strong, same on this side. Hold here, don't let me move you. Good, last one I'm gonna check is great toe extension. So big toes up, good, hold here, don't let me move you. Good, hold here, don't let me move you. Okay, I would expect that one to give because of the, the amount of length that tendon goes through to provide that extension for that toe. Um, I don't expect the same as my bigger phasic muscle groups. Good? For your lower extremity rims, you can always add in other things. You notice we didn't test adduction and abduction or hip internal rotation and external rotation. 
But if someone comes in and you think that you want to look at some of those, by all means, add that into your RIMS testing. That'll help you when you get to your table exam if there's more that you want to look at. Anything? 